popliteal artery the popliteal artery there is a continuation of the femoral artery it begins at the adductor hiatus in the adductor magnus and at the junction of the middle one third and lower one third of the thigh it crosses the floor of the popliteal fossa from medial to the lateral side to reach the lower border of the popliteus where it terminates by dividing it into anterior as well as posterior tibial arteries now what are the relations anterior or deep relations nothing but called as the floor of the popliteal fossa that is popliteal surface of the femur posterior aspect of the knee joint and the fascia covering popliteus muscles and next is superficial or posterior relations or the popliteal vein tibial nerve facial roof superficial fascia and the skin from deep to superficial these are the relations and what are the branches of the popliteal artery so these are divided into three groups cutaneous muscular and articular which is also called as the genicular branch the cutaneous branches they pierce the roof and supply the overlying skin of the popliteal fossa area and what are the muscular branches these muscular branches are large and several in number so if you see the upper branches they supply the adductor magnus as well as hamstring muscles one or two of them anastomose with fourth perforating artery and if you talk about the lower muscular branches these lower muscular branches supply the triceps surae muscles two heads of gastrocnemius soleus as well as plantaris muscles let us talk about the genicular or articular branches these branches are totally five in number approximately and supply the knee joint the arteries are as follows that is superior medial and lateral genicular arteries they wind around the corresponding side of the femur immediately above the corresponding femoral condyles and take part in the formation of genicular anastomosis and next is inferior medial and lateral genicular arteries they wind around the tibial condyles and pass deep to the corresponding collateral ligaments of the knee and take part in the formation of genicular anastomosis and next important one is the middle genicular artery this middle genicular artery pierces the oblique popliteal ligament of the knee and supply the cruciate ligaments as well as synovial membrane of the knee joints now let us discuss about genicular anastomosis this genicular anastomosis is an arterial anastomosis around the knee joint mainly formed by the branches of popliteal anterior as well as posterior tibial femoral as well as profunda femoris arteries this anastomosis maintains adequate blood supply to the knee joint as well as leg during flexion of the knee joint when the popliteal artery is compressed and the blood flow in it becomes sluggish now let us talk about this anastomosis in detail if you see the superior medial genicular artery this artery anastomosis with the descending branch of the femoral artery as well as inferior medial genicular artery and next one is inferior medial genicular artery if you see here it anastomosis with the superior medial genicular artery as well as saphenous artery which is a branch of the descending genicular artery it is nothing but the branch of the femoral artery and the next one is superior lateral genicular artery the superior lateral genicular artery anastomosis with the descending branch of the lateral circumflex femoral artery as well as inferior lateral genicular artery and at last inferior lateral genicular artery anastomosis with the superior lateral genicular artery anterior as well as posterior recurrent branches of the anterior tibial artery circumflex fibular branch of posterior tibial artery this is how the anastomosis is formed and by this we completed the popliteal artery its branches as well as the anastomosis which is taking part by its various branches